I just wanted to ask you, for you, what is the difference, or have there been many differences between Hawks training camp and Skyhawks training camp? The actions are the same, kind of. Um, the way the coaches coach, pretty, pretty the same. They hard on us every day. I said the difference is probably guys just knowing each other, knowing their offense, really. So we, we getting used to playing with each other out here in the Skyhawks. Um, with the Hawks, you know, I'm kind of the one learning and stuff on the court. Wayne, watching guys, guys that have been here, learning from the vets. But when I came here to College Park, you know, I'm trying to teach guys, be a good leader. So I think that would probably be the biggest difference. And who on the Hawks has kind of taken you under their wing, if anybody? Really all the veterans, but I, I talk to Wesley Matthews a lot. Uh, he's a really good veteran. Bogey, Clint, I think everybody. Um, they got something to say to the young guys. You know, they pull us to the side. They say on the road we get together, you know, have dinner and stuff. So it's, it's good to talk to those veterans and learn from them. What rookie roles do they have you doing? Not much. I got to go get cookies, like, for the airplane. Uh, but they give me some money for that, so it's cool. It's kind of getting cookies for free. So I enjoy it. You know, I like cookies, too. So I just got to. Me and Seth got to stop by and get some insomnia before we get on the plane. That's about it. What's your favorite insomnia cookie? Probably just chocolate chip or mint chocolate chip. That's about it. And as far as your game, what have you worked on from like summer league even to the start of the season? Just what have you kind of been trying to improve on? Quick decisions. You know, if my shot's not there, getting in the second action. That's what I've been working on a lot. Finishing at the rim, getting in the paint, just pace, and, you, know, you know, making quick decisions. That's the biggest thing that they've been working with me since the summer league. So. Tell me. And you guys had that scrimmage against um, Birmingham. Just how did that go for you, and what were you able to see kind of out of the team? It was that? good. It felt good, you know. I feel like I'm getting better every day. I'm trying to use what I'm working on in practice and, and workouts, so I think it's helping a lot. Uh, coaches are really good development-wise, so I, I just feel like getting able to play, you know, play 5 on 5 you know, getting to know guys, but just getting out there going up and down, I think I'm getting better every day. I already asked Miles, and he said it's very similar to how Hawks training camp was as far as, like, schemes and all like that. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the same, and at least for you, have you kind of been attacking it the same? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like my approach is the same uh, no matter where I'm at. Um, a lot of stuff we do is similar. You know, any, any moment we can get called up, you know, we just got to be ready for uh, the same system. Quinn, you know, Quinn got a system with his defense and stuff like that and the way he want to run his offense. So, uh, you know, we do a lot of similar things. So, you know, we can just stay sharp and stay ready for our moment. But, uh, no, nah, yeah, I would, I would say that my approach has definitely been the same. Just come in, try to get better every single day. And uh, you just stay true to yourself. And you guys had a scrimmage against Birmingham. Just how helpful was that to not have to play only against each other and to get to play another team? No, nah, yeah, absolutely. That scrimmage was definitely helpful for us. Uh, we learned a lot about ourselves. And, uh, you know, we got lots of work on as well and a lot to grow from. So that scrimmage is definitely beneficial. And as far as from the start of Hawks training camp to now, what have you seen about your game that you like want to work on more specifically? Um, I just say like I just got to be more aggressive uh, offensively when I'm with the Skyhawks. Um, that's that's probably the only thing. Um, obviously, my role is completely different when I'm with the Hawks. So you know, just being able to uh, be a scorer and a playmaker when I'm uh, you know with the Skyhawks, and uh, just be a leader too vocally. So. Um, I feel like that's going to be huge for me. So. I was going to ask you about that because I talked to Ryan and he did say something about you being a leader. Um, but also, Miles, just because you guys are those two-way guys. So did you kind of already know that coming in or did he talk to you as well about that? No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like I just I feel like naturally I've always been a leader just growing up. Just, that's just how I've always been. I always just found my way to, you know, just having that role um, at every single level I've been at. So I feel like it's nothing new for me. Uh, I just feel like it's natural to me. So. I, I definitely, I definitely was uh, expecting it definitely before I got here. Just about being back. And Absolutely. What was their message to you when you came back? Uh, really, the message is to be a leader. You know what I'm saying? Be, be a leader on and off the floor for the guys. Uh, you know, lead by example. Lead with conversations. Lead with my actions. Lead with, you know, just being an inclusive guy. Being a good member of the team, and really just applying the experience that I gained from last year. So that was really their main, their main message. For me. And you guys had a scrimmage against Birmingham. Yes. Just how did that go, and how good was that for you guys to not only play yourselves or play against yourselves and actually yeah, get some the, runs the in? Yeah, the scrimmage versus Birmingham went well. I thought we you know, executed on a lot of spots. Um, definitely some things that we have to continue to clean up, but that's normal going into the beginning of the season. Uh, but I felt like our energy, our, our competitive edge, I felt like we were celebrating each other. You know, those are all big things that you want to see early from a team because that's really are the foundational blocks is what's going to sustain the team for success or, you know, 
we want success. So that's all yes. I say. <laughs> and how was your off season? I know you were in summer league with yeah. the Hawks, and just how was it? What were you able to work on? Uh, what do you want to yeah. improve on? My off season was great. Honestly, it was you know probably the best off season I've had uh, in my career thus far. Um, just learning the new the little nuances of the game, uh, learning to be a point guard, when to make the reads, when to make decisions, when to score. Uh, so all those things, getting sharp on them, sitting down and studying the game and really watching film and just becoming a student of the game in, in the realest form that I could possibly do it in. So that was really my main my main focus of this. And how excited are you to get to College Park and play in front of those fans, especially oh, now that you'll have some more experience I'm under your belt? I'm super excited. You know, I think College Park has the best fans in the G League. I think that, you know, we bring that they bring the energy every night. So to play in front of them is definitely something I'm looking forward to and excited to be a part of.